Hello and welcome to Verbling. Hi there, I'm Teacher Oakley. For the next hour, we are going to practice our English speaking skills by talking about pets and critters, animals, animals that run around your house and make a mess. Oh, do you have pets? Would you have a pet? Did you have a pet when you were a child? We're going to practice English by talking about pets. Uh, welcome to the class. Welcome, Daniel. Hello. Hi, Oakley. How are you doing? I'm good. I see you have a new picture, a new plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, nice to see you. Nice uh, to see you as well. Okay. Uh, welcome, Gregory. How are you? Hello. Everything okay. Nice to see you. Great. Glad to hear it. Uh, likewise. Nice to see you, too. Jose, how are you? Again? Hi. Good night. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's. Is it Sue? Yes. Sue? Yes, I am. Hi, Sue. Uh, where are you from? Hi. I'm from Colombia. From Colombia. Okay. Hi there. Uh, welcome to the class. Okay. Okay, thank Hang you. Hang on. We'll nice to meet you. Likewise. All right. We'll talk to you a bit more in just a couple minutes. Uh, Jose, hello again. Hi, Jose. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. Is, is it Jose? You're not the Jose I thought you were. Okay. All right. Welcome to the class, Jose. Okay. Uh, Saiban, a long time no see. How are you? I am fine, thank you, teacher. How are you? I'm okay. I'm hungry, but uh, I'll live, you know. Oh, today I went to uh, with my friend after we prayed Juma at Dallas uh, Richardson uh, Mosque. We went to Pakistani and. Uh, uh, Pakistani restaurant and I ate uh, the biryani with with the chicken. <laughs> it was delicious, teacher. Oh, so you uh, thought you would torture me by describing it to me? Thank you, Saiban. Yeah. Too kind. <laughs> Thank, you, <teacher. laughs> Thank you, teacher. My goodness, you know I'm hungry, and then you have to describe a delicious chicken. <sighs> okay. <laughs> no, I apologize, teacher. Yeah, well, it's okay. All right, let's talk about something less appetizing, such as pets. Pets are stinky. Pets smell bad, so they don't make me hungry. Let's talk about pets. Daniel, you're the first one in. Daniel, do yep. you have any pets? Yeah, two cats. You have two cats? Yeah. Uh, okay. Tell us a little bit about your cats. Well, they are adopted, so... <laughs> they have no breed, or I don't know how to say that. How <laughs> They're adopted. I assume that they are not your children. <laughs> <laughs> of course, no. Um, okay. One of them is, is uh, or like orange with uh, like polka dots or something like that. And the, and the other one is black. Actually, you already you already see so my. My cat, uh, the black one. My sister showed you a cat a uh, weeks ago. She was Miriam. Ah, uh, okay. You remember That's you your said sister? Yeah, with the Miriam, evil. Miriam, your sister? Okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, wow. I did I'm not. I'm trying to, to, to find a picture to show you. Yeah. Okay. By the way, anyone or anyone in the class or anyone outside of the class, if you have a pet, feel free to use your your webcam to show us your pet. Your pet can now be famous. Um, <laughs> all right. So feel free to show us your pet. Uh, I had. Okay. I'm a little bit shocked, Daniel. I had no idea that Miriam is your sister. How come nobody <laughs> told me that before? Why is this a secret? Okay. No. <laughs> anyway. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, but uh, do you remember that cat? Or? No. I mean, vaguely. I, I vaguely remember that. Yeah, I kind of do remember that. I certainly remember your sister, but... Yeah, vaguely I do. It was quite a while ago. It was like three weeks ago or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, did you say one of them was orange with polka dots? Uh, something like that. I'm trying to <laughs> to find a picture to show you. I, I will show you the picture. Uh, I mean, it's for some Okay. Because I'm trying to upload the picture. All right. Fine. <laughs> okay. While you're while you're doing that, so I'm, I'm trying to to transfer the picture from the iPad to the to the computer because I have okay. no cam. So okay. <laughs> all right. Well. All right. While you're working on that. All right. Uh, let me talk to some others. Uh, we're definitely going to talk more about your cats. Gregory, do you have any pets? Uh, fortunately not. Uh, fortunately. I, I like them, but uh, uh, it's uh, someplace not in my home. Uh, <laughs> and uh, my wife and my daughter always ask me uh, bring me some pet. Uh, uh -huh cat or dog, and uh, I always agree, but I say, who is afraid of that? Uh, of it, uh, and uh, uh, say, um, as for me, uh, sure, surely you. Uh, so I not agree with that. Uh, we have a uh, dispute about that. Okay, there's an but, ongoing, uh, but, ongoing uh, dispute. Okay. But our... Uh, uh, relatives have uh, some uh, dog, and uh, when they uh, go to vacation, this dog always uh, uh, in our house, and uh, all our friends have uh, dogs, cats. Uh, so we don't. Uh, my daughter not uh, miss them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Not too much. Okay, be careful when you say some dog. You, you should say some dogs. Some dogs. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. It's, it has to be plural. When you use some, that means more than one. Uh, all right, so they have some dogs. How, you, don't have, uh, you, you, you don't have any other, you know, I don't know, goldfish or silly turtle or something for your daughter? Yeah. We have mosquitoes sometimes. Mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. Pet mosquitoes, which I'm sure you feed very carefully. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Whether you want to or not. Uh, hello, Jose. Hello. <laughs> hello. Jose, how, how old are you? Please. How, how old are you? <laughs> That's disrespectful, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Jose? Please. Are you okay over there? No. I don't understand. Oh, okay. Where do you live, Jose? In uh, Salvador. Salvador. Okay, very good. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. How old are you? Are you 20 years old? 10 years old? Uh, <laughs> if she is woman, I don't recommend the task. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, Jose? I'm 42 years. 42. <laughs> Somehow. I Come on! <laughs> You're 42? Really? Okay. Yes. Jose, I, if you can, fix it. 
fix your audio. I can barely hear you. Uh, okay. Jose, do you have a dog? No. No? Yeah. Cat? Do you have a cat? Gato? No. No? No pets? No animals? No. No? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Oh, Sue. Sue, come back. We're, we're going to talk to you in a second. Okay, uh, Saiban. Yes, teacher. I, I'm How sorry you? to interrupt with you you're, while you're talking with that. <laughs> With Jose, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm trying. I, I to. don't know what teacher. I... Uh, obviously, you are now a student in the United States. Clearly, you do not have a pet. I'm sure. Hello, can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Oh, sorry. That in her when we ask. Uh, Uh, yeah. I I know you yes. do not. Have, sorry, Saiban. I, I know you don't have a pet now. Probably not. Yeah. Um, how about back in uh, back in your country where you're from? All yes. right. Do you? Does your family have any pets? No, actually, we don't have a pet. We don't arise a, a pet because uh, it's. Uh, no, just the uh, dog. It's illegal according to our uh, religion. We cannot raise that a dog. Uh, we cannot pour dog uh, inside okay. the home. Um, okay. But but the other, it's uh, we can we can raise cat. But uh, my father's my families don't like. But uh, actually, uh, recently before I travel before I come to the U.S., my father just bought some uh, chicken. Farmer, farmer animal, some chickens, four mm -hmm. chicken with uh, roast, <laughs> and uh, just put in front of, I mean, in the a little house in front of our home, and uh, he built he built uh, a little house for uh, for them, and put uh -huh. it in there. But uh, fortunately, he eventually he, he uh, bought, I mean, he he sell uh, sell them again <laughs> for another one. Okay. So uh, actually, we, we we don't no we do, we don't have a, a, a it's not familiar in our society. Even if a, if someone rides a pet, I mean uh, it's uh, it's I mean something bizarre in our uh, society, teacher. Okay. Because we don't arise according to the culture and uh, right. we, we, we are really close, teacher. I mean we are not outgoing uh, society, so <laughs> it's right. not uh, something good. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay, one thing. Okay, the little house where you put chickens is a chicken coop. Oh, right. chicken coop. Oh, yeah, okay, teacher. There's a name for that specifically. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't know the name of uh, the chicken coop. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, sure. Um, and uh, okay, so it's not normal to have pets in your society uh, I understand that no, but now that you're in the United States as a student yes. you must see people with pets I'm oh sure. yeah All yes so, especially dogs they just barking ow, 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 ow. they just follow me everywhere do you know just uh, last night when I uh, returned to the home there are some uh, someone I don't know who lost her cats and this cat just follow me, and I, I shouted her. I mean, I just uh, so go, go, and just follow me. Oh, I, I said, God, oh, what's happened? I don't know why. <laughs> you know, uh, everywhere you you can see pets in here in the United States. Yeah. <laughs> Especially dogs. <laughs> True. Yeah, yes, yeah. and they will follow you home. They follow you home because they like you. <laughs> I don't like them, teacher. <laughs> that doesn't really matter. <laughs> I know. Especially to a cat. You don't own oh. a cat. The cat owns you. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't care if you like yeah. them or not as long as you feed them. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Just feed them. <laughs> right. They are not loyal like dogs. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, let me, let me continue. Sue. 
How about yourself? Sue, do you have uh, do you have any pets? Um, in this moment, no. I have no a pet uh, because I have a baby, a little baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, I see. He's okay. have seven months. Um, mm -hmm. In this moment, I don't have a pet. But I love the dogs. Ah, okay. Great. I love all animals except uh, insects. I don't <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of insects. Huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Your baby's very cute, by the way. I'm, th that is your baby in your uh, Google picture, right? Your avatar. Yes. Okay. Very yes, cute. I love this child. <laughs> very, very handsome young man there. Congratulations. By the way. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, uh, I'm with you there, though, Sue. I also love animals, but I have two small children. One who's about to be three and one who's one and a half. Uh, two daughters, but they're young, so... Eh... You know, maybe they're too young to have a pet, right? Or, or maybe the hair. Eh. Uh, what? No, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, I was saying that I also have small children. Okay. I also love animals, pets. Okay. But yes. What is the age? to get a pet with your small child. How old should the child be? Do you think? Um, three years. Three? You think More so? More or less. More or less. Three. All right. All right. So they're not yes. torturing, pulling the cat's tail. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like more the cats. You don't like the cats. Well, I, okay. I love more the dogs. I always have um, uh -huh. dogs. The various razas. How do you say? How do you say various razas? I'm not sure. Breeds, breeds. What's that? Breeds. Okay. Breeds, breeds, like. Uh, a uh, variety of kinds of ducks like oh. Rottweiler, duck like Pitbull. Oh, varieties. Okay, yes. By the way, um, talking about dogs, they, you, we use to talk about varieties or types of dogs. Um, the normal English terminology we say breeds, breeds of dogs. A German breeds. Shepherd, Australian Shepherd. Okay, Black Labrador. Pekingese, right? These are Chihuahua. These are breeds yeah. of dogs. Yeah. Okay, one more question. How you spell this breed? Breeds. B R E E D S. It's in the Verling chat. If you can look at that. Uh, okay. Thank you. Sure. Uh, what do you like? Big dogs or little dogs? Sue. Big dogs. The big dog. last dog were uh, big dogs. Or medium dogs. What, okay. What kind of dog was your last dog? The last dog, um, uh, the last dog uh, is an Australian, um, ah. Australian uh, ganadero australiano. Austra Australian um, sheep dog? More Australian sheep. Sheepdog, yeah, they're smart, really, really smart, right? Super smart dogs, actually. Very crazy. <laughs> very crazy. Okay. It's very crazy in a park. <laughs> a place, a small place. Or? Yeah, they have a lot of energy, which is something you have to think about. Yes. Getting a dog. Where are you going to let him use his energy? True. True, true, very true. Uh, okay, um, Jonathan, yes. hi Jonathan, hang on a second, I'll talk to you, I just want to 
take a look at uh, uh, Daniel's cats here. Meow. Okay, there they are. <laughs> Why is your orange cat wearing makeup? Uh, my girlfriend. Oh, I actually did it. <laughs> my gosh, <laughs> your girlfriend. She looks this stop week, that. No? Yeah. Right. Okay. Torturing yeah, each cat. Like <laughs> okay. He has very dark eyes. They're a little spooky. Okay. They're they're cute. Nice. Okay. Thanks for sharing again. Uh -huh. Anybody who who has a pet and you want to share pictures of your pet or actually uh, put your pet on camera here, you're more than welcome. Uh, Jonathan, do you have I, a, any pets? Yes, sir. I have one dog. You do? It's me, it me, it's Cooper. Cooper, that's a great dog name. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's a very funny name. Uh, it is funny. I think that's a great dog name, actually. All right. Uh, okay, what? I take I take this name for because I hear this name in one movie. I don't remember I don't remember the name of the movie, but I like the name for for one for the dog. Yeah, I I think it's great. What what breed of dog is Cooper? He what breed of dog? Okay, he's like a fresh poodle. He's a French poodle. Yeah, really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> okay. A, a, a big, a bigger French poodle. Oh, <laughs> really? No kidding. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, is he smart? I, I have never had a poodle. I've had a few dogs in my life, but I've never had a poodle. I, from what I read, Australian sheep dogs. Poodles, German Shepherds, they are, these are the, basically the three smartest dogs. I, is your dog really smart, Jonathan? Uh, I think that it, it, it is smart yeah, uh, because he understood always when I can uh, give an order, um, he, he attends all my, my orders. I think that he's very smart for that. <laughs> Okay. He uh, attends my commands. Okay. Commands, yeah. Commands. Yes, commands, right. Well, yeah. uh, very good. Nice phrasing, though. Uh, attend your commands. Um, okay. Uh, I've had dogs before that were... <laughs> okay. If, if a dog is not really anything... <laughs> uh, it is a called a mixed breed, in more polite words, or perhaps a mutt. The dog is a mutt. It is mm. a mixture of breeds. How do you call a a, a mutt cat, or is it a, a, a mutt? A, a, <laughs> a cat? I, I guess a cat is just a mixed breed. You would say mixed breed cat. Yeah, I think so. Usually dogs are a mutt. Um, or mutt can be kind of um, a derogatory thing to say about people, too. But, but is, it, is it polite or is it...? It's, a, it's informal. It's a, it's a dog, so who cares? But if you say it about a person, of course, it's impolite. Oh, okay. You're a mutt. Uh, okay. <laughs> Personally, I like mutts. I like mixed breed dogs I think they're they tend to crossing the genes make them live longer makes them a little smarter I had a dog who was uh, Jonathan do you know what a St. Bernard is yes I know too sure they're pretty big right it's a great yes it's very big yeah. and it's smart too yeah well <laughs> that's yeah okay <laughs> We'll leave the jury out on that one. But my dog was a half St. Bernard, half Beagle. If you can imagine that. He looked like a, a Beagle is a smaller hunting dog, or usually people use mm. for rabbits. But he looked like a Beagle, but he was the size of a St. Bernard. So if you can imagine, he, he weighed like 75 kilos, 70 
75 kilos. He was huge, but uh, he looked like an enormous beagle. He was very funny looking, very goofy. I, I, I'm not pretty sure, but, but I think that the, this kind of dog working in rescuing people. Yeah, St. Bernard, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he dead, the duck? He is, but he lived to a ripe old age. Uh, he lived mm -hmm. to be 18. Mm. So do you he, miss it? Do you miss do him? Miss, oh, of course. Yeah. He was a great dog. Not only did he attend my verbal commands, I enjoy hiking and orienteering, following a map and finding my way across a couple mountains. All right. Mm. Um, it's sort of a hobby of mine. And my dog used to always go with me, of course. And uh, so I love being in the deep forest and coming upon animals, staying upwind of deer, for example. So I had to train him not to chase animals. Uh, not always successfully. He did, he did have a little fight with a skunk once. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, porcupine another time. But anyway, he was great. He would actually, like uh, like uh, Navy SEALs or Marines, he would actually, I could not even speak and just make make motions. And he would, he's like a Marine commando. He, he would just <laughs> stop and sit and wait and then go. Nice based, training. Based on just completely nonverbal commands. It was, it was great. He was awesome. Yeah, he was good in the forest. Good yes. in the forest, but <laughs> he had his faults. <laughs> Believe me. He, he did not like to be he was he did not like to be in confined spaces. He wasn't a fan of uh, any kind of cage or small space. He would freak out. He loved the forest, you know, but small spaces. One time I put him, he came to my work. He followed me to work. Uh, I lived in a place where I used to bicycle, I, I don't know, a couple miles to work, a mile and a half, I don't know. And he followed me. I didn't realize he was following me. <laughs> and he followed me to work, so I, I couldn't do anything. I was working, and I was very busy. So I put him in my boss's car until I finish work. Bad move. My boss's new car, I might add. He, he literally tore up the seats, the interior, the roof, the dashboard, just utterly destroyed. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I was not a happy master. Bad dog, bad dog. <laughs> bad dog, bad dog. <laughs> So bad. <laughs> yes. Well, that's my man had my man have this beagle. It's horrible, dog. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Destroy Why? everything. It's uh, bad uh, dog, bad dog. <laughs> bad dog. Bad only dog. when when they are young. Only only when they are young. Only when they are young. Well, my dog. Actually, to tell you the truth. And actually, I want to ask you about this. I got my dog from... I, I had like three dogs, and they all lived quite long. One when I was a child, and two when I was an adult. They, I got my dogs from the um, Humane Society, which is a... I don't know what it is. It's they, They're <laughs> partly government-funded, mostly privately funded. They take care of animals, uh, stray dogs and cats... Basically, it's this, uh, or if people are abusing animals, they take the dog or cat and they, they, mm -hmm. put, they bring them to this building and they keep them in a kennel or they keep them in an area and they feed also, them. Also mat? Also mat? Or no? hmm? Also mat dogs or mixed, break, mixed breeds? Dogs oh, any, any, kind, any dog, any, any kind cat. Dog? Okay. Any dog and cat, actually. And uh, basically, here's the deal in the United States. They take any dog or cat. They keep them for 21 days, three weeks. If nobody claims them, adopts them, then 
they, they don't shoot uh, them, they inject them, but they, they uh, anest, uh, euthanize them. When you kill somebody, mm-hmm. basically, with a, That's with bad. a shot, uh, you euthanize them. Because there's too many. Um, there's just far <coughs> too many pets, uh, at least in the United States. So that's what happens. So if you don't, if nobody adopts them, they, they're euthanized. So, I would always go there, you know, bonus, I get a dog and I get to save a dog's life. And uh, the last, two, the two dogs that I've had, I, I went to the Humane Society and I said, alright, uh, I don't care what dog it is, just show me who's on death row, who gets killed, you know, today. tomorrow, or uh. today, right, <laughs> who's next. <laughs> that's it. And that's the dog. I'll take that one. <laughs> I figure I'll have a very grateful and uh, loyal dog. <laughs> Let me explain no to you. Matter. I saved no your matter. life. No matter how ugly, no matter what. Yeah, it didn't matter. And that is how I ended up with Oscar, half St. Bernard, half Beagle. All right. Um, very odd-looking dog, but... Good, but he had his trauma. He had been taken away from another person who had abused him. So he was very nervous of men. He loved me because, you know, I took him off death row. <laughs> abuse in what form or what kind what? of abuse? Uh, abuse. Hitting. Okay. Hitting the animal, basically. Tying them up, not exercising them, maybe not feeding them. Abuse comes in many flavors. Uh, so actually, let me ask you about that, Daniel. In your country, do you have animal protection laws? Mm, well, not like you said in the United States. It's just yeah. people, uh, people like you, like me, that got uh, dogs and cats in their houses. Okay. Trying to, to find out a, a home for them. Mm-hmm. Are Are there any laws uh, in your country to protect? Can I just beat my dog with a stick? In, in America, that would be highly illegal. You, they'd take your dog. They would probably they would you would be in trouble. You could you go what? to jail. Definitely. If you what? If you what? If you hit your dog? If you what? Hit your dog with a stick, for example. Oh, okay. Wow, wow, wow. Just hitting him as hard as you can. Can no, you do that? Not. It's not a crime, but not a crime. No, right. it's not a crime. Not a crime at all. Right. In the United States, it is, and you can go to jail for that. Actually. But actually, it's not pretty common here. Right. But maybe, maybe uh, let me think. Two weeks ago, yeah, two weeks ago, uh, a person died uh, here in my city because. Uh, he was trying to defend a dog who was uh, about to be killed by by a drunk a drunk man. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Wow. That's a little scary. All right. Yeah. How do people do? People generally te- treat their pets, dogs, cats, whatever, pets, animals, even livestock. Okay, livestock when people keep <laughs> chickens or goats or chickens and no. horses chickens or mules or pigs, no. whatever. We call that livestock. You keep animals for eggs or milk or for the meat. They're not really pets. They don't come in your house. Um, oh, but okay. do people generally treat animals kindly, well? Yeah. Generally, they do. Okay. I, I, I kind of freaked me out moving to the Philippines because people, basically dogs get treated in two ways by Filipinos. Native, okay, there's other people from other countries and it's not the same, but, and some Filipinos have taken on more American ideas. But older Filipino, older style, Filipinos, they only do two things with a dog. Either they put him in a small cage or literally put him on a leash this long 
I mean, literally, that's that long, like 15 centimeters long, and they don't, that's it. They don't go anywhere ever, and they um, they never get exercise. They just feed them, and that's really? it. They us usually get table scraps. Or... Like decorative, like decorative furniture, okay. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. It sickens me, actually. I find it disgusting. Or they allow the animal to just run free in the street. There are tons of stray dogs in the street here, everywhere. What is the strangest uh, pet in Philippines? A snake or a crocodile? Or... Strangest? Yeah, or the weird. They, they, they don't have weird pets here. No. Monkey, probably. Occasionally, you see somebody with a pet monkey. Uh, okay. Yeah. But uh, that's about it. They they don't really go in for st strange pets here. It's not common. Fish are common. Birds are common. Dogs and cats. That's pretty much it. Uh, is it common to see a bear or a wild animal in the road like in Australia? Or no. 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 Not at, all. Okay. not at all. In the Philippines, all the wild animals have been eaten. <laughs> <laughs> totally not kidding. It is the only place in the world I have ever been, and I have traveled quite a bit, where you go to the ocean and there are no seagulls. Mm -hmm. There are none, really? even where there are fishing boats, which, of course, attract tons of seagulls. There are none here. You know why? Because Filipinos used to eat them. So mm -hmm. they, they don't exist here. Strange. There are no seagulls in the Philippines. 7,000 yeah. islands I've never what seen. What is seagulls? Sorry. Seagulls are those white or gray birds with webbed feet. Um, they are always at the beach. If you throw a little food on the ground, a seagull will come and take it. Did They're everywhere. They, they follow ships around. <laughs> They're always oh, okay. screaming. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Like a white yes, crow. Yes. I understand. Funny. Did you ever okay. try seagulls of meat, uh, Oakley? Or no? No, of course not. Ah, okay. How could I? They don't it doesn't exist here anymore. Uh, okay. no. No. <laughs> Nor would I. You see very little wildlife here in the Philippines. It's kind of depressing, actually. Uh, other than in the ocean, if you go uh, snorkeling or scuba diving, you'll see fish and like that. Um, Jonathan, uh, how about in your country? Are there laws to protect animals? Um, I think, teacher, that the the laws exceed, but it's no very strong. The people don't come to the jail if if the people um, maybe one person uh, kill one pet uh, maybe uh, at, at this person put one mole but he don't come to the jail don't exist that law yet. Okay, so there may be laws, but they're not really enforced? Is that what yes, you're saying? Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, I see. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, do you have anything like I was explaining where they take stray animals, uh, cats and dogs, where people can go and adopt them? Uh, maybe hamster. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hamster. hamster, yeah. Uh, 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 a tropics birds, okay. like a, a like a, I don't know how can I say in English guacamaya. But I am disagree with that because this animal is only for taking forests. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Tropical birds. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I I don't remember other animal teacher. Okay. But 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 
uh, are the same animal, cat, dogs, uh, uh -huh. something like that, bears, yeah. Okay. Well, okay, my question really was, is there a place where I could go in your country and adopt an animal? I'd say, I like that oh, animal, yeah. and you can bring them home. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of places, uh, maybe this place is an associate, and if you uh, looking for a one pet, you can adopt the pet in this place, and it's free. Okay, and yeah. it's free, right? Okay, exactly. That's what I mean. Okay, yeah. In the United States, it's free, but you have to pay for basic shots. Okay, that's it. Basic medication, um, or at least the first round of, which you're gonna have to pay for anyway, and you actually get it at a reduced rate. It's mm -hmm. cheaper than the veterinarian. After you adopt the pet, uh, you need to take care for them and and uh, pay for all of your medicine. Oh, that's the yeah. Yeah, what you know? One great thing when I lived in the United States was that, in fact, uh, one of my good friends was a veterinarian. Very handy. <laughs> <laughs> really good. Uh. Actually, quite nice yeah. to have a veterinarian friend. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, he could. Great. You know, if I was worried about my dog, he would stop by my house and look at him, or he would, very cheap, give me uh, appointments, very cheap, and I could buy food, really, really good quality food from him, and he would sell it to me for a price, for the same price he bought it, no profit, so. Good deal. Absolutely. Yeah, it was, it was great. Very handy. Uh, Sue, Sue, uh, where, uh, where are you from again? From Colombia, Bogota, Colombia. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, okay. Same. All right. So, okay. So, would you say the same thing? The laws are. Jonathan, are you from Colombia as well? Yes. No, I'm from Panama, oh. teacher. Panama. Oh, my mistake. Okay, I get no, confused. No more, okay. <laughs> I'm from Colombia. <laughs> I'm confused. I... What's that, Daniel? Daniel. Yeah, I'm from Colombia. You're from Colombia. Okay, right. I knew that because I know you. <laughs> Miriam is from <laughs> Colombia. Okay. Anyway, okay. So, Sue, there's no laws really to protect animals. Is that right? Jonathan, uh, earlier. Yeah, yes. Okay. Do you think there should be? What is your opinion about that? Um, here uh, exists, exists the um, uh, associated um, little associated um, but I, I would like no, no sé cómo decirlo. Me gustaría que fuera más grande, more, more, more strong, big, big, yes. Okay. More strong. O sea, me gustaría que los cuidara más. Yeah, you're losing me entirely, you know. In Colombia, no. I have a little. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, a little Spanish, but when you're... I, I, I totally lost. T-shirt is... Sure. I'll, I'll return the favor. What if I start talking like this? And you, can you keep up with what I'm trying to say? And I keep talking like this, and I want you to speak English. Like that. Sorry. <laughs> in, in, sure, in some moment, it's the same way. Some people speak me English. So, hey, man, please, mm. it's, 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 speak me lowly. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, uh, anyway, so try try it in English is the idea, uh, you know. Um, right. right. It's very so difficult you think, for me. <laughs> yeah, right, but you may have a breakthrough. It's okay. So you think the laws should be stronger? Just take it easy. Say it simply. 
It's okay. No problem. Uh, two, is that right? You think the laws should be stronger? Mm, I don't understand your question. Uh, I, I'm asking about laws to protect animals. Laws. Uh, Lo know. Laws is... Laws. Uh, laws, uh, okay. Um, if you, uh, you know, if you're selling cocaine, or if you kill people, or if you're... <laughs> Regulation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Yes. Laws. <laughs> right. There are laws. Uh, country. You, you can't. Que sí, que sí hay leyes sobre animales en Colombia. Por ejemplo, en Estados Unidos uh, matan okay. a la cárcel a la gente no. porque les pegan. Mm, Thank you, no. En Colombia no, no law. Uh -huh. For the people kill. Animals? No, no, okay. don't, I don't, uh, don't exist. All right. Actually, are there? Uh, Colombia has many beautiful animal species. Are there laws preventing hunting or killing some animals? Are there protected species? Uh, protected animals, like no, uh, they're not. No protection. Really? That's scary. Try uh -huh. the protect. Try, try. Try, but, but okay. It's not, but it's not the the better. Okay. It's for not, example, no, it's not better. For example, in the United States, if I kill a bald eagle, ah, uh, and I get caught, I am definitely going to jail. Definitely. Going to jail if I if I kill a bald eagle. All right, no question. Uh, uh, Jonathan, how about in Panama? Are there protected species? Which, if you actually killed one, you'd be in big trouble. No, teacher, it's not big trouble in Panama. Maybe you pay right. a one fiance, yeah, and you stay in your house again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you yeah. Go, you go back and the, live in your house. And just pay yeah, a fine. Yes, that's is bad. Ooh. Yeah, it's that sad. Is really bad. Mm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hmm. It is sad. Yeah. Uh, I hear you. Actually, where I live in the Philippines recently, Chinese fishermen and some Filipino fishermen were caught poaching, by the way, when you kill animals you're not supposed to kill, or you kill them at the wrong time, wrong place, or wrong animal, anything wrong, killing an animal, it's called Murphy's poaching. Law. Sorry? Murphy's Law. The worst place, the worst animal, the worst. Wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you lost me there, but... Anyway, the verb is poaching. Um, anyway, they recently caught some Chinese and Filipinos poaching very rare endangered sea turtles here. Very sad. Totally ridiculous. A, a rare species that's about to vanish from the earth and they're going to make soup. <laughs> Who does that? What kind of a human being does that? I'm sorry, but I find that repugnant. I find that aberracious. disgusting. Aberracious. Aberracious. Aberracious, yeah. Never-ending hunger. I do not understand that, and I think that's crazy. Uh, how do you feel about that, Daniel? Would you... Yeah, I think that's fine. Would, would you, you like to enjoy a dinner of a rare species? <laughs> Here. Uh, let's eat a steak of a white Bengal tiger. There's only 40 in the world. Let's eat one. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm okay. kind of eco-friendly, yeah, and I love animals. Yeah, so I'm against that. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I'm also absolutely wait, 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 wait. against that. <laughs> when when you talk about Colombia, it's like you think that this is a a, a wild or a forest where you can find snakes in the road, 
or tigers walking on the street. And this well, not is not on the like street. <laughs> no. Yeah, but I, I've never been to Colombia, but I've been to Trinidad and Tobago, and I've been to Venezuela, and I know there are definitely areas with animals in the mountains. I hiking in the mountains. I told you. I mentioned before that I enjoy hiking in the mountains. Yeah. That includes when I travel. So I've never been to Colombia, but I've been hiking in the mountains in Venezuela, and I've seen uh, wild porcupine and definitely many species the, of bird. You have to go to the Amazonas jungle. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, okay. Yeah. Anyway, trust me, you don't want your country to end up like. Philippines, where you, you, I have, you never see any wild animals, unless you're counting wild ants. <laughs> there, mm -hmm. are no, there are no wild animals here. It's like I, uh, at all. There, I've, I've lived here for three years, and I've seen maybe four species of birds total. Oh, really? Sad. It's <laughs> completely depressing, actually. It's like a song, uh, safe, uh, a concrete jungle. Or something like that. Yeah, I mean, there's still there are still mountains and rainforests and lots of plants, but there's no animals. You know, there's mm. a couple kinds of lizards. You, you know, there's no birds. You, you don't. There's no like small mammals like squirrels or chipmunks or anything like that here. Snakes. Mm. There's a few snakes. They have uh, pythons here. Hmm. They, they have snakes. <laughs> you can see snakes if you want, or you can eat them. Uh, let's talk about exotic pets, Sue. W would you ever have an exotic mm -hmm. pet? Would you ever have a snake, for example? Or no. tarantula? No, I don't have a scorpion or... I adore these Monkey. animals. I adore. I, I like adore. the yeah. scorpions. Okay. Yes, I love. But I know have in my house <laughs> these animals. <laughs> okay. But I see uh, a beautiful structure or, or colors. Mm, your uh, is are beautiful uh -huh. animals. W would you <laughs> ever have birds? No. As for a pet? Mm. No. Only dogs. I Only have. Dogs. That's it. No. no, but I'm asking: Would you yes. hypothetically, imaginary, would you ever? Have any other animal other than a dog? And is there uh, any other pet you might have? <clears throat> no. No, just dogs. That's mm -hmm. it. Okay, Jonathan. No. Yes. How about, okay, Jonathan. How about you? Would you ever have any other kind of pets? A turtle. Uh, <laughs> Bird. No, 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 teacher. I don't have any uh, exotic pet, but I right. would like to yeah. to have a uh, one squirrel. <laughs> yeah, a squirrel? Yeah. <laughs> Why no? Squirrels are nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they're crazy. I, th I think that the squirrel are crazy. Yeah, a very they funny. Are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I had a friend who had ferrets. You know ferrets? They have long body. Not really a squirrel, but uh, I don't know if you've ever seen a ferret. But uh, long black fur, black fur, very long body. Oh yeah, yeah. They're actually they were they're kind of cool. Uh, they they were nice actually. I like those. Uh, Daniel, would you ever have an exotic pet? Yes, I want to have a, a shark in a fish tank. <laughs> okay. 
Wow, a shark in a fish tank. What are you going to do with that? Oh my goodness. I don't know. I went to feed the shark. Feed the shark what? Your enemies? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I don't know. But I, I, I really, really went to have a shark. I don't know why. You're like the bad guy in a 007 movie. <laughs> but I okay. think it's pretty risky. Maybe the, the shark will will break will break the the, gra the glass. Ah, nah, you can you can figure that out. There's definitely durable enough material. You can do it. Go for it. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, have fun. Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, Guys, uh, as I stated at the very beginning of class, I am starving. I haven't eaten yet today. So uh, thank you very much. But I have to go have some lunch. So thank you very much for joining the class. Uh, I hope to see you guys again real soon. Thank you, okay. Sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm bye sorry bye. for bye my for bad English. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Not a problem, Sue. I welcome you back to class anytime. All right. Bye-bye.